It's your boy Eclipse from Team Ruthless. We got newcomers in the yes, house. Sir. Hopefully the start of a new podcast is Lewis yes, sir. and my boy Christian. Both homies I, I met from work in my good 9 to 5 lifetime. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so what's up with you guys, man? Uh, another day, man. That's another good, day, another man. dollar. Trying to make it happen. Just so, a hot ass day. Oh, God. Living you know, in Florida. This heat, bro, in Florida right now. Insane. This is like record setting <laughs> every fucking day. It's like I sweat. Like I wake up in the morning and I'm sweating. Yeah. Yo, like I'm, in my house. I'm honestly to the point like, yo, if I don't have to go outside though, yeah, like if, yeah. if I gotta go get something, if I'm not doing it on the way somewhere like work, I'm not fucking leaving the house, yo. Yeah. That's just how I am, yo. My girl be like, yo, can you go give me this? I'm like. Yeah. I have to sit there and think about yeah. it. Can I wear it on Amazon? <laughs> yeah, like, is it, can it, <laughs> seriously, it does it deliver? Does it deliver? Yeah, <laughs> like, right. you know, Bro, I'm looking at DoorDash and shit. Yeah. Like, yo, dude. Fucking Grumbo exists for a reason. Yeah. Right, seriously, you walk out at 10 o'clock at night, man. Yo, yes. that's what I'm saying. And it's still like 85 degrees. Yeah, don't well, hide in here. Don't do it. Like, like, like the humidity shit. is what it is. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even when it's cool, like today it wasn't too bad out, but the humidity was still fucking yeah. terrible. Yeah, I And I'm it. like, yo, I, I hate going outside right now. I'm ready for winter. Dude, that's what. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm ready for winter. Our, our, our 60 winter. degree winter. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> our 60 degree winter, bro. Oh, man. Yo, how, how do y'all feel about Brevard County as like a whole? Like, because y'all both not really from here, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm from fucking. Like hillbilly town, Texas, bro. <laughs> like I came from a town of like eleven hundred people, mm-hmm. and and so like when I moved here, I was a sophomore in high school, and so literally the high school that I went to had more students enrolled in it than there were people in my town. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like major culture shock. Um. So I don't know. For me, like, for me, it's nice having so much stuff accessible. Right, it's right, like right. It, within thirty minutes, I can be in fucking Orlando, and like yeah, true. true. What part of Texas? Um, East Central. Is it like oh, by like you know Austin? Dallas. Yeah, yeah, Dallas. Okay. Like yeah. about a half hour from Dallas. Oh, okay. Um, That's not too far. But Brevard specifically, um, I don't know. I'm an introvert, mm-hmm. man. I don't, I don't really go out much. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I, feel. I can't speak on it. I feel you there. What about you? What do you think? Um, I moved. I, I lived in Virginia, Arlington, so yeah, yeah, yeah. it was more. Populated more city like you know what I mean so to say mm-hmm. so like moving down here in 07 it, no 03 03 okay. yeah it was it was I got off of 95 and I saw those cows <laughs> I was just like yo where are we at right now? <laughs> and now it's like now you don't like, see a cow yeah yeah now it's yeah now we have the movie theater where the cows were and <laughs> five guys and all that good stuff Yo, this place just did blow up. It like, did blow up. I was I wasn't technically I am from South Carolina, but my mom didn't trust those doctors, so she went down here just to have me. Okay. I don't, really? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why. Hmm. Uh, you gotta ask her about that whole story. <laughs> but um, <laughs> so I I claim this because technically I was born here, but someone said like technically I'm from South Carolina. Whatever, don't matter. Yeah. But <laughs> I just it. it Definitely blew up to like what it was. Like I remember fucking dairy. Yeah. Empty. Dairy road. Like I took that road to get out of traffic and now it's probably the most fucking yeah, not dairy. One of the most populated. Fucking mitten. Oh yeah. yeah. Mitten. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even picture that being not such a congested Yo, area. Exactly. <laughs> I remember Pompey Road being two two lanes. Yeah, Pompey Road used, used to be two lanes. Really? Yeah. That and this is like crazy. Even when I started driving too, like when I first started driving, sixteen, uh, after nine, no traffic. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. There was like wow. nobody on the road. I felt like I would speed all the way from, shoot, I don't even know the road, like Melbourne, Melbourne High, because I used to when I was sixteen, I worked at Percepta for like two weeks. Gotcha. So I got out like at nine or ten, and I would shoot from Mel High all the way down to. Fountainhead Memorial, past Malabar. Okay. Yeah. All green lights took yeah, me five damn. minutes. It took me ten minutes to get home. Bro, I, I remember, remember that, man. That. Yeah. Now you can't go down Babcock and get to Malabar without there being a nice little bottleneck. Yo, you know, for real. Right past each other. It's crazy. To get to that one lane. <laughs> yeah. 
I gotta get to that red light, bitch. <laughs> I hate that so much, bro. You I stop at the light, you're the first one there, and you see this fucking car pull up, you're like, this. Yeah, I, I love when like they're going so fast. Like when they come to a stop, you see how fast they're yeah, going. Yeah, like yeah. the whole fucking car lurches. It's like, yeah. yeah. It's like your neck all right, buddy. <laughs> Man, that don't get me so mad, especially on the highway, bro. They do all that shit just to pull up to the same exit as yeah. me, bro. My That's why I don't take ninety five. I don't take ninety five to go home. Mm-hmm. Like. I don't, I don't Columbia know. Road isn't too bad, but mm-hmm. it gets backed up. But that Malabar exit. Yeah, it's, oh, it's terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's scary, to be honest. Yeah, Fast I'm surprised scary. more accidents don't happen. When it rains, I definitely. That's why we took those. When it was following me, we took the long way. Yeah, I, took, yeah. I took Dairy down. And nah, man, for sure. That shit was crazy. Drivers man. out there, man. Yo, it is crazy. I, I don't think we were, uh, Palm Bay was built for the amount of people we had. Uh, no, the infrastructure you know what? when they started. You know what's crazy though? They say Palm Bay is the biggest city land wise mm-hmm. in all of Florida. I heard that. Before. Like land wise, like you know what I mean? The side, you know, yeah, like square, like yeah, square, yeah, square feet, yeah, whatever, yeah. yeah, square miles. They were saying it's the biggest city. I was like, I can, they don't I, I can kind of see that. Yeah, though. there's they a get, lot like, of open space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. There's a lot of woods and and it's supposed to be development and stuff. But yeah. I don't know what's the hold up, man. They take forever. And yeah. Things gotta get passed. And Dude, the know. city councilors need bonuses, bro. <laughs> I guess so. Your <laughs> dad needs a raise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm trying to third a, yacht, bro. I'm trying yeah. to get a piece, bro. <laughs> I'm trying yeah, to get. Man. A, Man, this is crazy. Dude, but going back, I remember moving here, like I said, 03. I remember, I didn't know where the mall was at. I couldn't, <laughs> I like, my cousin came down from Virginia to visit us and was like, yo, I needed some CDs. This is back in the CDs. And uh, <laughs> he's like, let's, let's go. I don't want to go to Walmart because they censor everything. So I'm like, all right, we'll go to the mall. And so we would stop, ask people like, where's the mall? And they give us these bougie directions and yeah. could never find it man and it was like whatever man let's just go home <laughs> you know what I mean the, <laughs> that spot, that big old rock. man That's we cool. used to go to Walmart Walmart was the spot because it was like we ain't know nowhere else to go I ain't <laughs> yeah. know nobody you know what I yeah. mean like, you know where Walmart is you could have just walked somewhere yeah. living down yeah. here at that time you know so it was like there was oh yeah there was only one Walmart on Palm Bay Road yeah we didn't have that one yeah. on uh, Malabar it was uh yeah. We didn't even have Chick Fil A. No, we? we most of that stuff in that plaza. Yeah, man. and they didn't even really? know the Chick Fil A like, was down here. here. I don't know. Yeah, we had that Chick Fil A. Did we have the one on Palm Bay Road? Mm-hmm. I don't think we did, right? I think that came later. Later, right? Yeah, there was a yeah. lot of. That people was the only there. one for a while. I hated it. I hated it. <laughs> Actually, the I one in the mall was the only one we had. For oh, a that's while. right. Yeah, the one in the mall. Yeah. Now that I think about and it, and that would get crazy packed. <laughs> I didn't even know about Chick Fil A because it was only in the mall, and it wasn't until like I had like a. Well, I was in a science experiment. Not nah. you were in a science. I was experiment? in a science fest. I don't even know what that shit's called now. Like a science fair, I guess. But it was like like for school. Yeah, for school. I was in science research, and we all went to the mall, uh, mall to display our little projects. Oh, okay. And that was the first time I ever went to a Chick Fil A, bro. It's popping. Hmm. Did you like it? I didn't like Chick Fil A the first time I went to it. Was good. I thought it was overhyped. Yeah. My boy hyped it up. He was like, "Yo, it's the best Chick Fil A in the world." <laughs> Only five dollars. <laughs> oh, but that Polynesian they make sauce. A, they make waffle fries. Bro. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that was it. The waffle fries. <laughs> you know, eighth grade. So I was like, what, twelve? I think. And uh, oh, man. man, I thought it was overhyped, but I didn't even know about the fucking sauces yeah. back then. <laughs> that Polynesian yeah, sauce is too bad. Chick Fil A sauce, dude. Yo, yeah. I didn't know about what that. is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted that too. <laughs> exactly. Man, it's like a Big Mac it's sauce. Probably yeah, like yeah, yeah. Horseradish and ketchup. Whatever it is, some, it's some kind of combination of <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah, it's really good. Bro, their best sauce was um, I don't know if you guys ever had it. Was the sweet Thai chili sauce that they had? Or, I didn't even know they had. No, no. I'm sorry. Their sriracha sauce. Oh damn. It's discontinued yeah, now, but I Almost swear. Almost like the the shish, the shish one or however you say it. The, the mm. Szechuan sauce that McDonald's had. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever tried about. that one. I don't I think it's bomb, but they had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had it. For, they brought it back brought, recently. For Rick and Morty, the whole fucking Rick and Morty thing. Yeah, People yeah, were yeah. literally, like, losing their fucking minds over it. <laughs> They're out of the Szechuan sauce! And yeah, like, yeah, jumping yeah, up on the man. counter and shit. It, it wasn't worth all that, but it was yeah. banging. Yeah. yeah. Bro, their sweet, their, their sriracha sauce, I swear it was like, you know, the regular sriracha yeah. hot sauce? It was like mixing, like it was like half and half uh, sweet Thai chili sauce and sriracha, and sriracha sauce together. So it had like yeah. probably it was sweet, heat. but nah, it wasn't mm-hmm. that. It had a little kick to it, but mm-hmm. it wasn't like super spicy. But it had just 
That's wild. Yeah, it was the best, bro. And they I just need to be making it. sauces, bro. <laughs> that dude probably has a billion fucking dollars. <laughs> just do two things together, bro. <laughs> yeah. Do it in a bottle. Just two different chain restaurants, bro. You set for oh life. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, copyright this, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them it's a secret. You don't need to know it's yeah. mustard and it's ketchup in one the bottle. The secret loose sauce. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. That doesn't even sound right. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's the thing. You give it like a questionable name, and no one asks questions. <laughs> this, wow. the loose sauce. <laughs> that's wild, bro. Y'all are tripping. This is, this is going great, bro. I love this shit. Yo, so I want to ask y'all something because y'all both gamers. Yeah. And it might just be me, but are y'all looking forward to anything like coming? Like E three was just like what a month or two ago. Yeah. yeah. Number one See, game, Cyberpunk. Yeah, Cyberpunk I'm hyped for Cyberpunk. Did they show gameplay of that? Yes, they did. They did. Yeah. 40, okay. a 40 I haven't seen minute it gameplay video. Okay. It looks oh, fucking it dope. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's I awesome. I saw the trailer with um, old Neo, whatever his name is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Keanu, Keanu Reeves. Reeves. Keanu yeah. Reeves, yeah, yeah. I saw that with him and I was like... Yo, how, y- how y'all feel about that whole movie actor in video games? I guess it's the new wave. Yeah, I mean... Like video games are becoming a very, uh, a very prominent yeah, okay. like yeah. like uh, media platform. Mm-hmm. So like especially now that like CGI and, and like graphic um, like technology is getting so so advanced, mm-hmm. I feel like it's like pretty much the next logical. Step. That's what I feel yeah. like I feel like movies are gonna start. Not going down, but they're not going to be as big as these dudes. Like besides fucking, like yeah, that. besides like Marvel movies, yeah. which and your A list actors, yeah, A list shit. Yeah. I feel like like um, interactive movies it's are going to be the next, like the next like hmm. big thing. I I wouldn't be surprised. And I was talking to, I think I was talking to my wife about it, and I was like, I think that's probably going to be pretty huge and I guess Netflix did it with the Black Mirror shit yeah. kind of oh where you can interact with the yeah you can like make choices yeah. it's like a choose your own adventure movie yeah, I haven't yeah. really watched a whole lot of um, it's you weird, sinking bro. over there again yeah dude just fucking share man they call it the Titanic <laughs> the chair is killing me that's why I was my, sitting in it man I my mind behind this chair that shit will break out yeah, man. <laughs> but um <laughs> what, what was your question again? Oh, the video game? I'm sorry, dude. I, I, I totally like. I was gonna say. Oh, you're no, looking no. forward to anything? Oh yeah, yeah. like um. Did I, I, I derailed it, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I asked, an, I I asked another question. Like, video games. I was like cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I forgot about it though. To be honest, I'm glad you did say that shit, yeah. and I am looking forward to that fucking game. Yeah. I Other than um, that though. Nothing. Nah, I haven't seen any previews on that. The, the trailer on, or the gameplay, so I gotta check that out. But I'll be honest with you, man. And I've been telling you this at work. Mm-hmm. I was very disappointed. been very disappointed in Call of Duty for like yes. the last six like, years. Yes. Uh, I haven't bought a title from them in so long. But this Modern Warfare is new looking engine. okay. It, new it, have you seen the gameplay? Play? Have you seen the <laughs> <I've> seen <laughs> for the two, two v two squad? I have not seen that. Have no, I haven't. Bro, it looks like Call of Duty Four, man. If it's free to play. Yo, it's, it's got. Free to play it's got to be. Yeah, if right. it's crazy, it's got to be crazy for me. I'm to say still. Mind, bro. I think. I think August we're gonna get more like um, mm-hmm. gameplay footage. Like the, like the multiplayer. Yeah. Uh, October. October, I think. October or November, somewhere around there. Yeah. Somewhere around that time. I'm gonna wait till it's free um, to play, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's looking. I'm. A, I was oh, a big no, Call of Duty head, man. I remember. I had. My, I got my 360. That was the first, and then I got Live, mm. Halo Three, and Call of Duty Four. Were my games? Those were my two. Those were the fucking hey, golden era. That 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 like exactly, bro. That's what started everything. Yeah, like, that yeah. Was, like Modern Warfare Two was like the peak of the series. Yeah, yeah. Modern yeah. Warfare Two started like freaked, like touching levels mm-hmm. we hadn't been at before. Like yeah. the whole kill streaks. It really it innovated like, like the the series. Right, and then right. they, they basically they were like, like well, this shit yeah, works. Let's yeah. just. There is one up. thing I always say about the best thing about Call of Duty. In my opinion, is how quick it was to get in and out of matches. Yeah, you're like yeah. Winning, that's true. Team yeah. New Match, talk your shit. Talk your yeah, <laughs> shit, bro. Talking and then, shit was the biggest. Not only part. that, and then we were talking about this the other day. It's like party chat might have killed some yeah, of Call of Duty yeah. experience. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was, as as, as bad as it was, bro. Like, bro. Like, I used to get abused. <laughs> but I also, yo, and then I was, I'm gonna talk to my boy about this the other day. Um. I also made friends off that shit though. Yeah, man. yeah. Like, like, like lifelong friends. Yeah. Right? I had a boy pay for my Xbox Live. 
to push something out just to mm. make their sales yeah. and a lot of the games aren't even complete they're like yes. destiny or yes. not destiny um anthem anthem the biggest is like, i feel like that game's a rubber in your flag, face bro. but like i remember like like when oh, that shit yeah. was coming out you're like bro i'm hot for anthem Yo, bro you getting on that shit and i was like i'm waiting i don't me know too. man i was that guy destiny burned me twice i me really too, spent dude. 60 bucks both times fucking destiny came out i was like That's this a- time will be different <laughs> The it sad part is Destiny 1 got me. Destiny, Destiny 2, I was like, yeah. nope. Yeah, same here. And the Anthem, and I'm back on it. <laughs> yeah, and I'm yeah. so glad I didn't buy that fucking shit when I'm it dropped. And I waited. The, beta. Yeah. the so. beta saved me from spending $60. So I played the beta, yeah. I was like, it was not broken. really what I was expecting. It just I haven't even seen gameplay for it. You ain't missing Still. shit. Yeah. Nah, really. You seen the trailer? The suit was cool. You ain't missing shit. The suit was cool. The suit, like, Iron Man. You see Iron Man fly yeah. around? That's yeah. <laughs> same experience. Yeah, exactly. Like, I can get a mod for fucking GTA Five on PC. That's a new that. thing, yeah, yeah. too, bro. Like, I feel like that's going to be another thing that's probably the Like, mods. people, mods, but pe- I think gamers are going to start making their own shit. Like, I'm following this dude on Twitter, and I don't even know what the name of his fucking game It's called Arbiter. Okay. And he's like, he has like these inspirations from Kingdom Hearts and Devil May Cry, okay. and it it looks fucking the action like he's doing like the combos and shit. It looks fucking better than anything I've ever That's seen shit. before. Bro. Yeah. He the, his guy has like a sword and shit, and he'd be like fighting these shadows, and he can like switch. Different, he had duality Different of colors. <laughs> he turns black and white or some shit. Cause I guess it's light, dark side. Yeah. yeah so that's like yeah, Soul Reaver shit. It looks you dope, remember? and I gotta. Show, I'm gonna have to show you guys later. Yeah, bro. yeah, that's dope. I've never played Devil May Cry, but it, I, is it like um, is the gameplay sort of like um Ninja Gaiden? That yeah, that's, that in, that's a good it? good comparison. Like a hack and slash. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd say Devil May Cry is a better version of Ninja Gaiden yeah, nowadays because okay. Ninja Gaiden was old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Even plus that game is lit. hard as fuck. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden. All the Ninja Gaiden games. Those games were hard. I used to love the Wolverine claws. And yeah. The yeah. It's, it's kind of the same concept because you get different weapons and shit. But those games are pretty cool. Yeah. But, uh... Back to what you were saying, though. Like, I definitely feel like nowadays, like, developers, like, literally, there's a formula for yeah. what makes a yeah. game that will sell and it's like, we're going to do this because we can make money. Yeah. That's the sad part is it works. Yeah. It, yeah, think, right, of course. I yeah. think it works more to, like, the younger crowd. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. us seasoned gamers, so to say. Yeah, like, you casual. I mean? It appears right, to right. casual. Right, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And, and in a way, it's not a, it's not all bad because, you know, there's there's people that do genuinely enjoy, enjoy it. it. Yeah. You know, yeah. People buy that have been buying Call of Duty every year <laughs> or probably <laughs> never. So crazy. You know? I can't believe it. Because <laughs> some people, it's like, whatever, man, I got my mind with shooter. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't blame him for that. The only thing I'm happy about it is it introduced because they were doing so bad in my opinion yeah, and it introduced me to a game called PUBG and I'm forever grateful for it because I love me some PUBG. <laughs> I, <feel you. laughs> I love like me the some new, PUBG. The new genre. Oh, man. Pretty much. It's, it's so realistic. It's I, so I like PUBG because it's, like, it's kind of difficult and it's not like I said Fortnite uh, no, I'm not even gonna bring up Fortnite because Fortnite's fucking hard Damn. to me. Yeah, I me too. Suck yeah, it. me too. The I can kill people. Yeah, like I the can. Building, the building kills me. Yeah, Literally, <laughs> I build a wall and then I'm trying to get to the bad guy. I couldn't even figure out how to do that shit out. And then he built 
he trapped me in his building. <laughs> and I'm trying, I whip out my pickaxe, I'm trying to axe my way out, and then he's right he's there with the shotgun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These kids are fucking like, nasty, that shit, bro. Well, yeah, like, I remember I was playing not that long ago, and it's like, all right, there's like 10 people left. There's a guy over there. I'm going to sneak up on him. He doesn't see me. Literally, I shoot him. I hit him. And then, like, in an instant, he's fucking in a fortress. And it's like, <laughs> why am I playing this game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I couldn't. I tried to get twice. I was like, this You go from having the advantage in the HUD round to just... Yeah, like what's yeah, throwing grenades at me? Yeah, rocket launchers. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, no. That's what I like about PUBG, man. A little yeah. bit more. I like having to drop on somebody and they actually go down. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, so, that is what it is, though. Have you ever played it, PUBG? Nah. No. Mm-hmm. I think it's cool. I would play it though. if it was free. It was, it was, um, <laughs> that, that was me. To be honest. I was, that was, I was me. going through, so there was a phase in my time where I was playing Rocket League and um, Battlefield 4 with Pete. And then um, I was just playing it for like a year, and I was like, dude, I'm ready for a new game, but I'm not going to spend money on Call of Duty. You know what I mean? So one of my friends, Devin, was like, hey, man, why don't you play PUBG? I have it too. Try it out. It's pretty cool. It's, it's like almost like on Battlefield, but harder. Hmm. So I was like, all right, it's only 30 bucks. So I was like, all right, whatever, about 30 bucks. Hated it. Damn. <laughs> I sucked <laughs> so bad. Yeah. The shooting was dead. You couldn't just spray and pray. Like, you right. actually have to, like, be precise. First yeah. shots, and yeah. you know what I mean? And like, um, if you don't, like, one of the other things, very underrated, but like, the maps are huge. So, like, if you have like iron sights, it's so hard to see somebody from a yeah. distance, you know what I mean? Especially so, you find like a, a two times or a four times scope, and you're like, ah, it's so much better, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I suck so bad, I almost didn't want to play no more. And then I was just like, I refuse to accept. That I cannot get this <laughs> shooting game down. You know what I mean? Because there's no auto aim. There's zero oh, auto aim. Really? It's just, like everything is just you have to. That's kind of how you have to do it. You know, if what in mean? a competitive shooting. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, even for everybody. You know what I mean? So it's pretty crazy. Until somebody with a mouse and keyboard beats you. Uh, yeah, exactly. That shouldn't even be an option. <laughs> Not on, on console. a console. That shouldn't yeah. even be an option, man. I don't hate it, but this dude chairs the beating. You <laughs> sure you don't want the <laughs> other? No, uh, I'm bro. I'm being bro. beaten by this fucking chair. <laughs> that chair beating your ass. I will figure it out. <laughs> Whatever posture works, I will find it. Good luck, brother. You are struggling. That's so so, uh, I mean, I know our, our, a lot of our styles are different tastes in music. So, how do y'all feel about music right now, man? Because almost to the same thing where I was going to go with gaming until y'all fucking changed my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fucking, I feel like music right now, like nothing sticks all with time, me. Uh, all time low. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. nothing sticks with like me. That's like, so can, dude. Uh, I think the last thing I really like. Everything's too commercial. Really like. Everything's yeah. too commercial. Like, even the. um. That EDC music and stuff, yeah, like even that's yeah, getting yeah, yeah. so commercialized. Mm-hmm. Like it's like everywhere. Nothing you know what I mean? stick with me, and I, I, half of me thinks that I'm the problem because I always say to people like, I'm a "Cynical asshole." <laughs> not, not <laughs> that. It's like, well, now we have all this ex- accessibility <laughs> to different kinds of music, yeah. right? Yes. So we got Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube, whatever. Everybody's putting up, putting up music yeah. everywhere. And I kind of just stay within my, like, what I know and what I hear through the radio. Yeah, yeah. And I think it sucks. And, then, you know, I used, I rag on the radio all the time. Like, yo, the radio sucks. Well, I used to be kind of, I kind of depended on that shit yeah, a lot. Yeah. For yeah. a long time, we all yeah. did. Yeah. Until, like, MP3 started coming out. Yeah. Yeah, radio, but like, even then, like, I'd hear it on radio first. Like, yo, this shit kind of hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I, I look it up. You know, LimeWire. Yeah, Lime <laughs> Best way to get your computer to stop working. Facts. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I haven't been thinking it's me, but, like, what do y'all think, man? I think it's, I don't know. Well, I just, I still feel like nothing's, like, sticking like it used to. And I think it's almost in the same vein as, like, video games. It's, mm-hmm. like, there's a formula that works. Yeah. And, like, people, like, a lot, most people are satisfied with just having a catchy beat. <clears throat> yeah. Catchy lyrics that just repeat for the three fun. minutes, yeah, and, and, and then you got a perfect song. Yeah, yeah. And so there, there isn't really a need for for like innovation or anything like that because it's lyricism. like this works. Yeah, yeah. And like lyricism was a bit like I love yeah. hip hop, man. Like hip hop was my baby, man. You know, I actually recently got into hip hop. Like, um, 
ASAP Rock. Okay. Um, ASAP Rock is, is is what's crazy about ASAP Rock to me is like a lot of my favorite fucking uh, rappers who I, I look to for their lyrics is like, yo, get on him, get on him. He's the best. You know, yeah. I listen to him. I'm like. This is kind of This weird. is off the wall. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Have you ever listened to No. It's not ASAP. Like, you might be thinking ASAP like Rocky. Oh, oh. No, no that's ASAP Rock. Is oh, well, yeah. yeah, my bad. It's, I was going to yeah. say free my man ASAP Rocky. But. Yo, free. Yo. <laughs> I did <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah. Free ASAP Rocky, yeah, but, uh, man. ASAP <laughs> Rock is spelled A-E-S-O-P? Yeah, ASAP like the uh, oh, okay. philosopher Rock. Is that what it's from? Yeah. So you see how deep he is, bro? I didn't even know. I didn't yeah. even know this guy. He's got like, a um, YouTube right now. I remember, there's so many website that has like... He's on Spotify. They laid out... Yeah, he's all over Spotify. Um, There's some website that has laid out like um, what rappers have like the, the widest uh, variety in their, their words. And mm-hmm. Aesop is like above all of them by like oh, a couple thousand words. Huh. It's it it definitely yeah. not for everyone, but okay. his production is solid. And like, I have never heard a dude use so many rhymes with like words with like four or five syllables. It's like, what the fuck is this dude on? <laughs> yeah, I'll That's, take him out there for sure. Make a funny Eminem motherfucking ring a dictionary. <laughs> and get you that ASAP rock, bro. Yeah. Yo, this shit is like it's. I don't know how to explain it, man. You just gotta listen to it. Like, yeah, no, I'll definitely give him a listen. Cause, uh, and it's something you can't just listen to. The it's very cerebral. Like there's light. Is so you'll learn something. Very deep. You'll yeah. learn a couple words. Mm-hmm. Listening yeah. to him, like what the? What did he just say? What, yeah, like, what, is that English? To be or not to be? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> you gotta use that. <laughs> real though, cause like I look, uh, like one of the artists I was talking about, Lupe Fiasco. Yeah, yeah. Every time somebody hit him on tour, they're like, "Yo, you're the best." He's like, no, it's ASAP Rock. So I was like, "Man, let me let me see what this guy's about." <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> that, Lupe just, said that? Yeah, okay. right. he's like best lyricist. I definitely give him a shot. Yeah, like best lyricist is ASAP Rock, and I was like, and I was, I thought it was my Rocky. I was like, yeah. that boy's tripping. <laughs> like, I like Rocky too, but best the best? No, no. Lyricist? <laughs> okay. And then I, I finally looked it up, and I was like, yo, that shit's kind of. I don't know how to explain it. Like, yeah, that. I listen yeah. to it. I listen. I he, listen, he, listen to he, it. like, he talks about stuff with substance. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. and, yeah. It might be too much for me. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Maybe not. Not just talking about the bitches and the lean. And the no, if anything, he makes he makes fun of, of artists like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I listen to that stuff too, but it's mm-hmm. like. I listen to it because that's all there is to listen to. Like, there's not yeah, a whole lot of like you were saying. Stuff the video games, it's saturated. Yeah, it definitely those, is a very saturated industry. market. Yeah, and yeah. I, I said this before somewhere. I think on my other pod or episode podcast is like there used to be. I feel like 2000s, especially in the 90s, but 2000s there was like a balance of that shit. Yeah. So you had like it's even with the artists. So like even Ti Ti Ludacris. Outcasts, you know, they had a deep shit, yeah, yeah. and then they can hit you with get back, motherfucker, right, right, get right, back. Yeah, like right, they had their bangers, you yeah, know, yeah. they played in the clubs that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the South's hip-hop time mm-hmm. right there. So, maybe that's the problem. You need to go that back to the South, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you need to go back to the South. I said, I will rise. But, and I'll, I'll be honest, like, I love, I was such a 90s hip-hop guy. Yeah, yeah. That when I moved, like, again, yeah, when I moved down here, that's all I was listening to was, mm-hmm. like, Southern rap. And it was, like, it was hard. Like, T.I., I used to not like Ti, but not because like I just couldn't understand what he was saying. Like his accent, his mm-hmm. southern accent was so I could understand certain words, and then some stuff I'd be like, "What is he saying?" Like you know what I mean? And then, like <laughs> I went round with me, me, me. Let me go with my kid. At. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It wasn't until I lived down here for a little bit. I was just like, "Oh man, he's actually he's, <laughs> yo, he's, he's, like, he's not yo. speaking in tongues." <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty lit. Yeah, that was dead ass, man. It was like I'm I'm blessed cause my dad put me on fucking Rock Kim, yeah, yeah. early Outkast, right, right. Nate Dog. My dad always had like this range Gangstar. of Gangstar. Yeah, Yo, R-R-P. Gangstar. Yeah, yeah, R-R-P. Yeah, R-R-P. Gangstar the fucking guy with guru. The monotone. Yo, all he put me on those people before I started. Um, listening to everything else. Yeah, for myself, looking for yeah. shit myself. And my yeah. dad's always kind of been like, I want to say hit, but <laughs> he's always been like... Ahead of the curve up to date. <laughs> not afraid to listen to the younger people's shit, I yeah. guess. Because a lot of people say, I don't like this shit. My dad will always find something he likes on the radio. Yeah. Like, oh, this is pretty lit or something. Cool. Even even in all genres. 
So he got me on Red Hot Chili Peppers and what's some other rock groups? But I can't think of any. Lincoln Park. You got me on yeah, Lincoln Park. Park. Shout out to Lincoln Park. That's yeah, R.I.P. Yeah. Chester. Yeah, their first album. Oh, R.I.P. Their first yeah. few albums yeah, were pretty sick, man. Yeah, Hybrid Theory is. Yeah, Hybrid Theory. Yeah, Legendary. Every yeah. single Iconic. track. Iconic. Fire. <laughs> Iconic album. <Yeah. laughs> I <Iconic. laughs> Iconic <laughs> shit, yeah, though, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, like, fucking angsty teenager me had never felt so understood. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> but I also like my oldies, too, man. You know, them... them I'm not there, one. You're not there, <laughs> I'm not no, there, No, no, not ones. rock. Not rock. Oh, okay. rock more like, um... Like, Run DMC? Talking, yeah, not, not even hip-hop. Like, um... You talking about, like, a... Like, uh, Temptations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Luther Vandross. Mm-hmm. Like, I've been kind of started, like, the last, like, three years. You know how she put me on that stuff? It was gay. Really? He, like, yes. I, I knew I knew because my stepdad he would always play older jams, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like seventies, eighties tracks. But like like um Isley Brothers, like bro, I'd be at home showering, mm-hmm. playing Isley Brothers, playing the whole like Sarah Sarah. <laughs> you know, that's a you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, I know that's song. my song. That's, <laughs> I don't ever go looking don't you for oldies. Me? Like I won't ever play it, but yeah. if I hear it, uh, I know it. Like, that ain't my Pandora, it's in my shuffle, bro. Like, see, I'm not that in there, in but shuffle, I notice bro. it. <laughs> like, man. So, because, you know what I appreciate about that genre? Is mm. they, they were actually singing. Yeah. Like, it was an auto tune. Like, those, those voices you hear, the yeah. singing, that's mm-hmm. actually that came singing. from them. You, know what you I mean? had like, to have. Like, you had to have talent. talent. And to, I, to, to, to succeed. That's another thing I, I feel about some of these movies. Yo, so, speaking of talent, like, so the Lion King movie. I've seen nothing on it. Nothing? I haven't even seen no trailer. Do you know who's in it? Nope. Really? No. Where do you live, <laughs> bro? I live under a rock. I bro. wish I was like you, <laughs> I, bro. I stay away from <laughs> I like I wish lines. I was like that, that dog. To be honest. <laughs> well, just because I see a lot of people that are so pissed off about it. I don't know like, it's, I'm not mad about it. I just don't think like okay, so they got Childish Gambino. Well, yeah, till you told me that today. Okay. I didn't know that till really? today. Though. You didn't know that? Yet? Nah, not nah, till you really? told me earlier. Yeah, so he's playing Simba, adult Simba, That's and I was cool. like, yeah, it's cool, but is it because of his fame or is it because he can sing? Is it because he? Because I'm yes. a fan of his music. Okay. And I don't think he can sing like that. I I don't think he's on par with the the whoever sung him in the 1990s. Yeah. Yeah. Where the they, Disney, like, like you yeah, said, Disney in the choir. '90s, yeah, yeah, yeah. you had to fucking sing. Yeah. And I don't think Gambino can is like a list singer. But but they do like like so. I was watching um on YouTube. It was uh, Seth Rogen. He was on the Jimmy Kimmel mm-hmm. show mm-hmm. or something like that. So I just happened to click. I, I didn't know he was playing Pumbaa. And he there was he was talking about he was promoting the title was like Seth Rogen promoting why Disney. I, I guess he was saying like Disney is dumb for letting him promote it. Mm-hmm. He's like, that, nothing good can come from that. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm the last person that should be promoting that <laughs> Disney right. movie. So I'm like, what Disney movie is he doing? And he's like, so then I figure I put two and two together. He's playing Pumbaa. Mm-hmm. So then Jimmy asked him, like, so um, was that you really singing in the movie? Or mm-hmm. was that um, was it auto-tune? Or he's like, nah, man. He was like, that was, that was really me. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and he know his voice, right? So yeah, he, yeah. Like, he was uh, talking to about mm-hmm. talking to him about his experience. I guess Pharrell and um, some other uh, Jimmy. What's the Asian dude's name from the Neptunes? I think it was both I of them. Know. I think it was the two of them, if I'm not mistaken, that were in charge of the um, soundtrack, especially for him. So he was talking about how he had to do like fifty, a hundred, a bunch of oh, takes. Thanks. Because oh, really? he just, he's not a singer, yeah. you know what I mean? And they weren't auto-tuned. He's like, man, you, you guys sure you can't auto-tune this? Like, <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no, we need you to sing it. So after like all these mm. tries, he finally nailed it. But <laughs> I, I think that's cool. And I, I honestly, cool. honestly think he's a good uh, role for Pumbaa. Yeah, 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 I, yeah think, I think that's, I a, good, yeah, that's yeah, a good cast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, I'm not mad at the cast at all in terms of the acting part. Yeah, yeah. But the singing part, right, I just right, don't. Right. And I still, I don't think it's going to be a bad movie. I think yeah, it's going yeah, yeah. to be Lion King. It's still going to be great. I don't know anybody else does too, though. Beyonce. She is Nala. Really? Really? Like an adult Nala? Adult Nala. Okay. I don't know the kids are. I don't know the kids. The original Mufasa, I think. Is Mufasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I think you're so, going to say that. I don't know who else. I don't know names. I know the. I know their faces. I can't tell you. Gotcha, I'm yeah. terrible with actors. I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah. I, I wish that my like girl. That movie. That movie. Yeah, the bad guy. Oh yeah. My girl would tell me the actor's name, and she's like, "You don't know who that is." 
Like, I'm like, not by their name. Bro. I know. I and then know I tell her, like, spaces. you know, Crash Bandicoot is, and she looks at me like I'm retarded. <laughs> like, who the fuck is that? Must be a guy thing. So when your girl's like, can you get me that under the sink? It's under the sink. And I'm like, babe, I don't see the damn bar. Which so <laughs> It's stuck down here. I look like three times. And then she goes, oh, right here. This is the bar soap I was talking I'm like, like, you brought that into existence. Yeah, that's exactly that's what I said. You just put it over there right now. <laughs> I think that's a guy thing, man. I get it, man. That makes me feel better a little bit. A little, a little bit. Because I've been feeling stupid. Yeah, for sure. Because right, literally, right. I'll be looking for shit. I'm like, like oh. something. It's just anything. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I'll be like, man, have you seen that? And she'll like go right to it. Yeah. And like, like a magic trick. Yeah. Oh, it was on the bed. Yeah. Under yeah. the blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Yeah. I feel like the pressure's on when she asks me to find Stupid. something. I'm like, oh, she just asked me to find something. Damn it. I just saw it. <laughs> that, that's me. I just... Don't I, I see it. <laughs> Shit. Are you guys also the dream? ones who are like, who moved my keys? Damn it, I put nah, the keys right here. I like, want my keys in the same place, I so I don't. Yeah, that, 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 that. That's a poor example. But and I still saying. lose them, but for the most part, I got it down, bro. Yeah, bro man. Said, <laughs> that's so funny. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, other than that, like, so y'all don't care about Tyrus and Mino being Simba? Nah, no, I didn't no, know. I didn't know to today. So I'm know. the only one yeah, passionate like, about this. I'm a loser. <laughs> yeah. I don't no, even exactly. even gonna slap. I, I feel like if they can make, I feel like if they can make Seth Rogen work singing mm. a song, oh, yeah. I guess Childish Gambino yeah. should be able to pull it off. Yeah. Uh, should be. Able he to has way more experience than fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a modern day Renaissance man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey y'all, what's what's crazy is we. I was just thinking. I was just listening to something and. Did you know Facebook was making their own currency soon? I've heard what? about that. New cryptocurrency. It's called Libra or some shit. Yeah. Nah. And they put about to be a Libra? Yeah. Like pounds in Spanish? I don't know. Well, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Barely know English. Like, like, like asking me questions <laughs> about languages? <laughs> like astrology? <laughs> like, like that? I don't know. Yes. Like yes. That? That's okay. a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so pounds. Okay. I guess. Latin. I haven't even. Seen, I, I heard it's about Libra. I might not even be saying it right. Huh. It's Libra. Yeah, uh, that sounds about right. I've never right. heard of it, but. But it, okay. I, I don't know if they're trying to compete with. Well, I guess. Dude, our, it's literally our, the future. Ninety-seven percent of the money in the world is digital anyway. That's the. That's what I was trying to tell Jason, bro. It's like yo, soon, no cash is not going to be accepted. It's all going to be like credit yeah. and debit cards. Like, I don't it's going to be like video guys. games, bro. Yeah, like, I don't know about you guys, but like, when was the last time that you used cash for a transaction? Well, today. When today. somebody gives okay. it to me. Okay. Other than that, yeah, some, yeah, I'm right there with you. Do, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you use primarily cash. Yeah, no, like, no, nah, nah, I don't. Dude. I don't. It just happened to be today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's like I, I go to get gas and I put my little piece of plastic in the thing. It's more than the thing that the yeah. money's there. You know, actually, since we're on that subject, I went to Sam's to go do my shopping, and in the front there were um, some veterans, you know, mm-hmm. asking for, you know, donations and whatnot. And then I walk in, and I walk out, and he's like, hey, you know, you donate. I'm like, I don't have cash. And then I walk to my car, and I'm like, who carries cash? Yeah. Like, that's got to be hard to... I'm waiting for them to pull out the chip be... on their phone, like, Yo, like the barber. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's I saw okay. I saw a meme Fuck. of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Facts, bro. That's I'm sure we won't be bro. too far away from that. Dude, that's only a matter of time. Yeah, well, I'm surprised they haven't locked oh, on. Man, it, bro. that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, watch now. They go. Somebody's gonna listen to this podcast and be like, "Yo, word. It's a genius. That's yeah, my job. It's only a ten dollar fucking <laughs> equipment. Yeah, it's like, yo, facts, get that man. money back. The first fucking person you fool. It's like I got no cash. Oh, no worries. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, they're not gonna be able to wait. Like, for me, I carry cash, but it is kind of only for opportunities like like for me to donate. Like, I don't donate this shit. Um, (laughs) I understand. It's just my money. It's not even that. I don't know where the money is going. I I understand. So I don't like to donate anymore. For sure. I used to be that guy. Yeah. People on the road. Right. I used to throw money in there. See, the ones in the road, I don't. I used yeah. to, and then I started noticing that shoes were cleaner than mine. Yeah, yeah. So right. I stopped doing it. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't because, like, the way, I forgot what basketball, I think Michael Jordan said this, like, a while ago. Mm-hmm. It's like, if you can stand in the corner of a light with a sign that says, feed me, you can also stand with a sign for cricket 
advertising their, their thing and make money. Word. Word. You know what I'm saying? I never like, thought of that. You know, Word. if you can stand with a sign on the corner, why can't you stand on a sign for $100? Yeah, that's just like $15. Little what? That's what I'm saying. My girl was looking into it. That's just like $15. I quit my house. That's what I make is a warehouse manager. That's hot, bro. That's too high. Fuck it. Turn my head. I mean, I'm working a hot ass warehouse Maybe I was skinny thing. like you and I went slip. Man, maybe I should be out there. Shit. <laughs> so I could not be skinny <laughs> like you. Damn. Uh, out there touring. But yeah, I, I'm but not like trying kids, to take yeah. like m- the moral high ground mm-hmm. by any means, but like, I like, I would rather be like, um, I would rather give someone money and then use it wrong than for me to like, than for someone to come to me who genuinely needs mm-hmm. money and I say, fuck you. And they really need to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right, right. And that's, that's. I respect that. That's just the Buddhist. I'm still not going to take my. That's the Buddhist in me, bro. So, like. <laughs> But like the little that's kids. not to say I judge people yeah, if, they, yeah, yeah. if they don't right, donate right, right. or yeah, are yeah. generous. I, know, I, I can respect that though. Like I'm still not gonna do it, but I can respect it yeah. and I understand because yeah. I, I I've helped people out of the way for no damn reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And I still feel stupid afterwards. So I don't know. See, and that's what's that's what's kind of sad is like. Um, not even in the camera. Why are y'all telling nobody? When people, <laughs> yeah. it's like there's almost a culture of like. Anti generosity. That makes yeah. sense. It's like it's like you're yeah, it's, it's like you're the outcast if you yeah. yeah it's like sure. you're the outcast if you go out of your way to mm-hmm. try to help someone. Yeah. It's like if you're out on the street or something, you walk by someone, you say, "Hey, what's up?" and give them a smile. They mm-hmm. look at you like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, <laughs> I kinda, remember all um, kind of sad. This is and I don't think I even told anybody this, but fucking you know the lady who used to work at Jimmy's. Yeah, the Puerto Rican chick. Yeah, 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 yeah. so. I don't even know why I did it, but she asked me for fucking money. And I don't know why. She told me the soft story. And it was, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was at least 100 bucks, and I gave it to her, bro. Yeah. Don't know why I did that shit. I never, yeah. and I was. You're a I, good man for doing that. Yeah, I felt sure. stupid as hell. Yeah, dude, you're a good <laughs> man for doing that shit. shit. I, you know, well, I'm kind of 50 50 with, like, I, I, yeah, definitely, for sure. Uh-huh. But like, I swear, Jimmy hired like these crackheads. Because like, <laughs> he knows that he doesn't have to. I'm not calling her a crackhead, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, absolutely. These people that he knows he got to take advantage of. Yeah. And be yeah, there yeah, sweating yeah. in a hot box, making God knows how mm-hmm. much, eight, nine dollars an hour, flipping this. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. But like, she don't I, don't even, I don't think she worked there no more. I don't think she does. I don't think she does. But uh, I don't know. I, I would do stuff for her all the time. Like her birthday came up, I bought her a bottle. And that was just out of me. She yeah, didn't yeah. ask for that. Right, I was right, like, right. I bought her a bottle. She's I don't think she asked me for the money, actually. She might not have asked me for the money. I might have just gave it to her like yeah, a yeah. dumbass. No, I came from the heart, bro. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that's the crazy thing. Like my girl, we, 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 we like we we're official. And I took her to go. We got to go to Jimmy's. And she met my girl. She's like, "Yo, this is the one of the best guys you ever find." And I was like, and we were like, just we just started dating this shit. So I'm like, "Yeah, blow me up." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I, I didn't even tell. I didn't even think about it because I was stupid like that. Actually, I actually had more money back then too in my bank account because I live with my parents. But and you didn't have a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Whoa. Oh, she, she's downstairs. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. <laughs> Shit. Oh, man. Damn, bro. I'm be like, it's seven. I'm hungry. I want to buy food, but I don't want to spend money. Like, <laughs> ramen noodles? To the rescue. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> where's my 22? I think I saw a squirrel out there. Oh, wait, I'm not in Texas anymore. Oh, man. But on to that, though, I do think you're right, though. Like, we got to start. I think a lot of the world right now is like, fuck you, me, me, me. And I, yeah. I, we gotta start going back to where we gotta take care of each other, at least our friends and Pretty family. Sure. Right? That's yeah. dude, and that's what makes us human. Mm-hmm. And is like, is is those opportunities for generosity, those opportunities for like, like good ethics. Yeah. You know, because if we go through life just, you know, worshiping ourselves, then how how have we made this yeah life yeah. meaningful? Right, right, right. And how have we made it better for the next generation? Yeah, exactly. You know, you know like like what kind of legacy? Am I leaving behind? Right. Yeah, so on to that, I want to ask y'all something, and I guess it's kind of, I don't know how, if it's deep or not, but have y'all heard about the conversations about reparations toward African Americans? As I far have. as... You have not. It's been a politic thing. You know, like, it's been a lot of uh, a lot of conversation about it, and uh, some politicians are, I think Bernie, 
are saying like we should like right the conversation in politics right now between themselves is that they should be at least talking about it and thinking about what they could or having that discussion I guess is it like what they do with the natives like if you're I native, know. like putting them in college or whatever, like grants like that? Is that what they're talking about? No clue yet. Okay. The conversation right now is just if uh, they should be even talking about it. All right? So I, I want to know. I yeah, I don't think I, I follow quite understand. Like, 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 like a stimulus package for people who we, are... They don't know what yet. Yeah, they just want to know if they should be even discussing, like if, if we deserve it, I guess. I okay. guess would be the best. Like, do we deserve it? We, they should be talking about it. Not that's, that's such not a touchy what? subject, man. Because mm-hmm. like, like it's hard for the generationally compounded, institutionalized hatred mm-hmm. and racism that this country has kind of been founded on yeah. to just go away in a couple generations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but how do you? Before we get, I don't want to get that deep. Yeah, I'm but sorry. I feel, I feel I'm sorry. you. I'm sorry. And I would love <laughs> to have that conversation <laughs> another time, maybe. But. <laughs> Shit, where was I going with that? Do you think there should be or not? I guess. I don't. I don't follow. I don't. You know reparations I mean? for me. Yeah, like, but like, what kind of reparations? Like, do you don't even money? go. Like, should taxes? there be before you go into that? Should there be any kind of reparations? I mean, yeah, y'all, you kind of was shitted on for fucking uh-huh. centuries. Centuries, you know what I mean? Like, uh, I mean. The natives are right. I mean, this was their land, though. But you know what I mean. Oh uh, yeah. I, I mean, I see. So I see it fifty-fifty, and I don't want to dive too far into it. Like, yeah, yeah you, know, I, you guys were slaves for a long time, yes. but you guys were sold by Africans mm-hmm. to Europeans as slaves. If there was some easy way to fix it, yes, absolutely. But the problem is there isn't, and like, I, and I feel that's... like there's a lot of people who. I know this is going to sound bad, but I know there's a lot of people who can use it to their advantage, advantage right. and say, mm-hmm. I deserve point. everything right, right. Yeah. because of things that happened centuries ago. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say necessarily that they don't, but it it's ago, it's that yeah. kind of like mentality that it, it, it pits people against each other. My thing about lot. the whole centuries ago thing is like... so It's not just centuries yeah, ago. Yeah, it's yeah, literally right. last week I was... <laughs> given a fucking dirty look type thing. Yeah, yeah. not only that, it's okay. so uh, that if you want to put it to a, I guess, politic perspective, because uh, I asked one of my friends this before, and I was like, and he was like, because the first thing you say reparations, they think about cash. Right. No, you right. shouldn't be giving everybody cash. Yes, I agree, but that's not the conversation I'm trying to have. But, um, okay, I just said, I didn't, again, I didn't try to get deep with him, so I said, okay, not me, okay? So I'm in my, tw- I'm 27. Uh, slavery, Jim Crow laws, all that shit's been done and over with already. Those so, that were alive around that time. Yeah, so I said, what about my grandma who was actually marching with the king? Right, right, right. So I was like, he was like, yeah, mate, is that? Yeah, because that was only, what, 50, 50 years ago? Uh, 50 years I think ago? so. Like, it, it was, was in the mid 60s. Mid 60s. Mid 60s. Dude, th- when you think about it, it's not that long. Yeah, it's not. That's my grandma. That was 20 life. years before we were born. Yeah, yeah. My exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and that is kind of like. That's the craziest that's, part. That's, that's mm-hmm. what is unacceptable for a, a lot mm-hmm. of people is that they expect all of that to just be swept under the rug yeah. because yeah, there's yeah, yeah, equal yeah. opportunity right, right. nowadays. At which one? Yeah, right. Equal opportunity. Yeah. But, uh,. I don't want to do get too deep into that. I yeah. just want to. I I like asking people weird questions. Yeah, yeah, no, I, mean, like, I think it's a bigger. Take it to the Mariana, bro. I was gonna say I'm not gonna lie. I'm about to take that ancestry test right now. I <laughs> want to, bro. I'm you sure too. I got some kind what? of. Shit. It'd be sixty <laughs> percent Canadian, bro. Ten percent American. Like, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, yes. I'm like big. Break me off. Like Native American. It, like there's a lot of Native American ancestry in my in my family. So, Are you sure? <laughs> Shout out the I don't want to be like Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> yeah. Don't, oh, don't take it. <laughs> uh, that's that what I'm told. Deal, man. That was such a big deal right there. Yeah. I never I, heard I, about I, her until that went down. I believe I, I have part Native American because my grandma really looks like it. Both of my grandmas really look like they have Native American. My grandma's, my dad's grandma, or mom, is literally 
Her grandma. Yeah, my grandma. dad's grandma is literally light skin, long, luscious black hair. Even in her yeah. pictures, even in her old age. Yeah. Long, luscious black hair. That's um, native. Yeah, so I believe I am. I definitely but, think I have some, but not not native from America, yeah, but yeah. from Puerto Rico. The mm-hmm. Indians okay. of those days, you know what I mean? Yeah. The Tainos and whatnot. Well, that would be so weird. I got some uncles. That what if we were all in the same right? tribe, bro? What that are our ancestors? Wild, bro. <laughs> we used to mingle on trade goods. <laughs> those were the good old days. Sugar cane. Yeah. I want to I wanna take it one day, but I don't want to spend $100. Plus, not to get to <laughs> yeah. like... Conspiracy. I was literally driven. on the same wavelength. But yeah, you. man, they, the DNA. Once you do thing. that, yeah, they got you in the system, bro. Oh, they, they, it's so actually. If you, if you look, you I know, don't believe that. What? I mean, I believe. Literally, I don't know. No, I don't they, believe they, you're they, already they, not in the system. Oh well, that's yeah. fair. My boy, come my boy, Camaro Chris Vice on the podcast. He's always like, yo, he don't want to take pictures. He don't want to be on Facebook. He oh, don't want social media. Hey, I said, like, bro, I said, like, do you have a social security card? Dude, he's yeah. got one of these. Exactly. That, like, exactly. Oh, you have a social security <laughs> card, bro. You're in the system, dude. You know when your phone's even on airplane mode? Yeah. It is still, yeah. They're still tracking you? Even when it's off. Yeah, the even whole time. Off, yep. The yep. It's still working. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's just wild, bro. But no, that, I, 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 I was reading about uh, like uh, people who were caught committing like murders and like murderers mm-hmm. that were um like they'd have some DNA I in heard the that, scene, yeah. and because of ancestry or things like that they've been able to trace back who they were I've heard and, that and I, mean, I don't gotta worry about that but that I ain't heard. Gonna hurt. yeah right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but still, but still it, it saying, brings like, up a moral dilemma yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? for sure cause maybe they get your uncle <laughs> And I ain't no snitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus, like, I don't want I ain't ancestors no snitch. Six, nine. Like, s- like, selling my DNA off to a fucking lab somewhere yeah. or something. You got a clone like, of you somewhere. Yeah, I got right? my son walking Baby down the clone. street. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I actually just committed a crime. He robbed a bank. We he been, shot ten people. Like, I've been at home the whole time. Yeah, what are y'all talking about? Bro, it's like you seen those pictures of, like, Keanu Reeves or Pharrell and, like, a picture of somebody else from, like, 1500s? Yeah, that we're painting fucking, of the... Yeah. We're a clone. Yeah, he's a clone or somebody. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. that, that, that is kind of crazy. Have you ever seen... Yeah, have you guys ever seen the picture of Troy Aikman compared ne- right next to uh, Jay Z? And how they look the same, but one's white and one's no, bro, no, bro. like <laughs> that, that image, celebrity. That, <laughs> dude, they found their own views. What kind of hue you want? That's why they let him get all that. <laughs> That's why they let him become a billionaire, bro. Jeezy. Uh, that <laughs> shit's wild. Yeah, bro. Someone's sitting somewhere in a character creator just like, eh, I like this one. <laughs> I'm going to take his hair, his <laughs> nose, bro. make him black. <laughs> this image is never like, it's just burnt in my face, in my in my face, in my head. Like, See the man, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> That's literally... They're brothers. Oh, that's <laughs> wild. Wow. They have like a side by side. And I never would have oh seen that God. without the side yeah, by side. Yeah, picture. I was just like. <sighs> like that resemblance never that's would have crazy. stuck out. Bro, I'm going to have to put that on the fucking video. Bro, yeah, yeah. That's like Spider Man on your desktop. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. They're the same dude, literally the same guy. That's yeah, cool. like from the nose, bro, to like just. I ain't never seen a one of them. The lips and everything, the whole yeah. line, like, pause. It's like, damn. Yo, another politic question. How y'all f- feel about free school? Like, y'all think it should be a thing or not? Like, college? Yeah, free college. I think that if we can spend $700 billion a year on dis- on defense, we can spend some money on free education. I agree with that. What do you think? I would like some damn free education. <laughs> you know, like, literally, the information is there. And it's accessible. I don't think you have charge. Dude, life is pay to win, bro. It's not <laughs> fair. <laughs> we get mad at fucking game developers. Yeah. They doing that shit in real life, yeah. right? Because yeah, like, true. like if you think about it, like everyone, like if you live in a neighborhood, everyone on your street, all the taxes that they pay every year, where is it going? That's, Why can't I go to school? Yeah, that's like that's a huge thing. Like no one knows where the fucking tax money is going. Exactly. I don't know where it's going. I, I, Fucking I, jets and <laughs> shit, bro. Yeah. It just flew I went over. In, um, my global studies class, one of the probably the best classes I took in high school, and he was showing us where our tax money went, and it was like, it was like military, you know, community, and it was this huge percentage, and I don't remember the numbers, 
and he was like, uh, what was it? Uh, self funded government projects. And we're like, what is that? Government yeah, projects? we're like, yeah. what is that? He's like, <laughs> that's literally like <laughs> other. He's like, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. Like, it's more. whatever they wanted to go to. Yeah. And that's literally like where a lot of our money is. I feel like they could. I feel like, um. Should they though? Do you think we need it? I think we definitely need it. I, I mean, think I think the country would be better off if we did it. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. in a sense, like, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it would be like a saturated kind of everybody have like a thousand, a hundred million. The problem is, like, with the basic way that our economy works, it mm-hmm. can't work because there's so much competition. Yeah, there's right, there's right, not right. enough cooperative, like, work for it to really flourish but like in an ideal society i feel <laughs> i feel like every all the menial jobs would be automated and all the citizens Facts. all the citizens would go to college to be That's engineers technicians right, right. artists right. Uh, like innovators yeah. you know but that's for the good of society yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's easier to control a society that cannot think and critically do you know who andrew yang is who? Andrew Yang. Mm-mm. That's that, crazy. That, that's the politician that's trying to make uh, things free, right? Or like, uh, he's trying, he's to, trying make, to give a thousand Everyone money. gets yeah. a thousand dollars. A lot of the yeah. shit he yeah. just said is a lot of shit Andrew Yang says about, not about, or besides his politicians, it's about how, where people, he thinks people should be going and people should be innovative. And he thinks, um, I think this too, and even if he becomes president or not, uh, there's going to be more value on shit like art, music. Yes, we and need I, a new renaissance period. Yes, yeah. and I, I, I think it's going to be... Oh, I don't know how to say this. And that's, that's part of the reason why I want to do podcasts and all this other shit. But I think it's going to be a bigger demand for it with all kinds of stuff, podcasts, TV shows. And I think that's... I guess that's a good example. A renaissance period is... Um, people are, are going to want something original that they can't get anywhere else and it's sad to say because i think a lot of things school work kind of kill our creative mindsets yeah and another reason why i do that because i feel like my creative i used to be really creative and now i feel like i'm fucking like a boring duck yeah type. and this actually it, i feel like it's helping me be more creative but i i think that's going to be a bigger thing and people need to hop on the wave or they're gonna be stuck doing nothing, maybe yeah. Just yeah. if they yeah. if they automating away jobs, which Andrew Yang uh, preaches that a lot. It's crazy you don't know about him because he said some shit that literally like, like married his work. Yeah. With what he's so uh, you should give him. I like listening to him. I don't. Yeah. I, I probably won't vote for him, but I probably won't vote at all for it because yeah. I'm a bad person. But. I'm about to say something that is really um, unpopular, but. I'm not registered to vote. I'm not either. Oh, really? Yeah. (laughs) What? What? Trash? Yes. We're the problem with America, bro. Sitting in this room. (laughs) Fucking drones gonna fly through. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. All these opinions. We not even (laughs) vote. All these opinions, boy. We not even voting. You trying to make a difference. Yeah, go get a fucking job. I'm done, bro. <laughs> no. Alright, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> but no, to be real, man, it's like my first presidential election I could have voted in. It was like Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. <laughs> what is my life? What is this? That's Am I in facts. a dream? Oh, uh, but <laughs> that's facts, though. But um, back to the free school shit. I don't think it should be free. I, you know. I don't think it's worth it, even if it is free. And I say this as somebody who makes more than all of my friends who went to school. Mm-hmm. And I don't make a crazy amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you but, think that's why? Huh? Do you think that's why you feel that way? That's one of the reasons. And the debt that they build up. The debt, because, you know, too. I mean, and the I, debt, I guess right. that's supposed to be coming with free college, clearing the debt. Whatever. See, I don't feel like it should be that expensive, though. That too. That's the you know what I'm saying. Like, it doesn't necessarily have thing. to be free. Like, right, 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 right. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, shouldn't. Yeah, I right. shouldn't have to be a, a debt slave for the rest right. of my exactly. life because right. I want to educate myself. Right, right. That's uh, where I'm. It's at. crazy how you're a doctor and you make more than probably m- most of the fucking middle class Americans, and you're still in debt to yeah. to fucking college debt. Yeah, man. But that's one of the reasons is unless you college doesn't teach you. In terms of 
uh, there's a lot of push to like, yo, go to school, get a good job, whatever, you'll be all right. That's not 100% the case. That people are going to school, getting into debt, not finding the jobs. Even for, so my friend, I want to put him on blast. <laughs> but my friend, he, he went to, he got a degree in something that wasn't fucking art. And I thought he was going to be like, okay, when he get out of school, he's going to be fucking balling. Or whatever. At least have a decent job. Right, right, right. And, a decent amount of pay. and it's something that everybody says, yo, go be in school, be an engineer or whatever. So I'm like, yo, he's going to be fucking banking if everything aligns. First of all, things can change in four years. If that's all it takes to get your fucking degree. Because yeah. sometimes it's more than that. Things can change in four years. One. Two. He finally left his job. Couldn't find a job. Found a job making as much as me. Which, cool. He got a jump start over somebody who just now starting to look for a job. But... I I went out to debt. Yeah, he went to school for four years, making as much as me. I don't have the debt, and And like he's where I'm at. Yeah, and I have the experience. Right, right. That experience is worth more in a lot of cases. Worth uh, most cases, especially in our area. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fucking our boy who just started our job. I'm not gonna put him on blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) But he's a team ruthless member. Y'all figure it out. But, um, <laughs> um, bang, bang. he went, he got a, what, he got a bachelor's? I think so, yeah. I think that's right Where are you working? <laughs> what yeah, us? Yeah, bro? Yeah, what yeah. us? <laughs> <laughs> Bet you you're not making more than us. <laughs> I, I got a question for y'all. Free education, free healthcare. Um, healthcare. If I had to choose. I think I'd have to choose healthcare, too. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that I'd have to say healthcare as well because, it's, like, mm. I can live without learning algebra. Right, right. And still making life. Yeah. I can't That's live the, my, I the third thing I was going to know about. It's like, oh. yeah. Third thing I was going to know about, school don't teach you shit about making money, bro. They don't they don't teach you real high life school, skills. Yeah. Like, yeah. Pra- yeah. like practical yeah. skills school for engaging. College doesn't either. I'm not. I, I didn't go to college. I can't speak. You know, I, yo, what you taking in school, bro? Algebra 4, uh, Quantum physics, quantum physics. Yeah, quantum trigonometry. Physics. I don't even know what that shit is. Yeah. I was like, how much? How did they help you? They got triangles and shit. Yo, you know what pot? How much money pot? No, me knowing pot got me. Not That's a damn you. dollar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the job is designing circles. Bro, I, I barely. <laughs> <laughs> That's more fun than what I'm doing. Fuck shit, that. Maybe, maybe I should go to school. <laughs> Well, but um, I just don't think it's worth that. There's, it's not teaching you how to make money. It's not teaching you how to spend. Uh, and I'm not saying. And I think high school should be in charge of this. They gotta start yes. teaching people how to absolutely to build they credit, at least know what a W two is. Build credit. Build credit. Know what credit is. I have no yes, clue what credit. Understanding was. things Tax like like is. credit, um, um, insurance, how to buy a house, insurance, how to budget. And yes, the, the, yes financial it? responsibility you know I mean? like, in a general sense. And I'm not saying there there's a job in knowing how money works. And just like everything else, I'm like, I'm not trying to take away that person's job. But just like anything else from fucking video games, yeah, you can teach us the basics, but somebody else is gonna master that shit better yeah, than everybody. Absolutely. Else. Yeah. So that's not gonna take away anybody's job. Like, yeah, I'm just saying, yo, I need to know what a W two is before I fucking I need to, to use it. it. Yeah, that's why I fucking need to use it. A lot of people would be like, well, that's why we'd be on the parents, blah, 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 blah. But they don't Who fucking know because yeah. no one taught them. Yeah, that's the, that's the problem, too. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. learning from trial and error, and it yeah. shouldn't be that way. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, if, you have, if more people succeed, then all, all our money is going to go to the rich. Yeah. yeah. Like, everybody's yeah. going to blow up. I would like to think. Yeah. I might be wrong. No, no. I mean, it makes sense. I mean... <laughs> if they don't know how they're going to pass it down yeah, they how they're they going to pass that information down. down so that's my know? my biggest reason why I don't think schools should be free Those and I think incredibly valid points yeah. I think and I think that. trades should be more pushed to kids and I don't remember I had one teacher out of how many classes we had in base on uh, six so six times four 6, 12, 18, 24. I'm doing the yeah. math. Yeah, 24 yeah. teachers. I, mean, I, had seven, I had seven periods. Oh, well. I yeah. learned something. Yeah. <laughs> I was strong at math. Math was my biggest. I was good. I'm good at math. I was yeah. good at math. That shit swept Science was pretty dope. I just had to yeah. multiply 6 times 4 and struggle. I've been at... I've always been at history, bro. 
I've always been a history buff. Yeah, history I like and history science too, is yeah. like my favorite. Mm-hmm. Math always kicked my ass. I was, like, for some reason, I was good at. I don't know. Like I enjoy math when I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> the rare occasions. Yeah, yeah. But uh, shit, where was I going with this? You listed your points for uh, no free help. Oh, I had one teacher. I had one teacher telling me, like, some of us should go into trades. He said, he said, school is not for everybody. And he was like, there's a guy who didn't go to fucking school right now fixing my toilet who's making way more money than me. Yeah. You know, actually, and then on top of the automotion, automation shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's something that can't is not going to be automated for a long right, time. Right, so. right. It would be cool, um, like, if more high, high schools, more high schools had programs like workshop or like mechanic. Like, yeah. Like yeah, mechanic, yeah. Like, basically, it's pretty school. cool because... Oh, Gally, you Gally, or however you know, see it. They got the um, the aviation maintenance thing where the high schoolers are yeah, learning yeah, how to how to so. be mechanics for yeah. aircrafts and stuff like that. That's cool. So that, just, I absolutely. wish I would have had that. The best thing about that, that too that. is that is what's big in our area right now. Right, right. So that's fucking. Plus, you get any any kid who like wants to learn it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They put, put their energy and focus on that and yeah. not so much the streets and what's going on yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're focusing on, you know, fresh out of high school, just boom, you got a career it, without going to college, taking advantage of your high school time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that would have been cool. Because in Virginia, in middle school, um, I think in seventh grade, like sixth grade, we had to take mandatory course. So yeah. like I could read music notes. I know how to read music. You right. know what I'm saying? Did you really? Yeah. Oh, like, not, not, not a whole, not, um, I took like the basic course, but yeah, I know how to pretty much read notes and That's whatnot. Cool. And then like um, uh, seventh grade, it was like mandatory carpentry. Cool yeah. as hell. What? Yeah, bro. That's That's awesome. Awesome. Cool. I remember I made a wooden airplane, bro. A mm-hmm. prop plane. Heavy. I mean, it's it like didn't fly. Scratch. It didn't fly, but yeah, from a big ass piece of wood, like multiple pieces. Man, mm-hmm. it was the coolest thing ever. We'd learn how to use In the grips, school? the bicycle. No, uh, that was middle, middle school. school. In middle school. Junior high. Yeah. yeah. Up there in Virginia, what? but the education level is so much higher up there yeah. than it is well, down here. Well, because they put more value. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's, that's the craziest here. thing about like here is at least when we were going. I don't know if it's yeah. still like this, but we have one of the hardest requirements to graduate because they put more focus F-cat. on math, okay. science, okay. FCAT, yeah. math, science, FCAT, and you're like we need four years of everything yeah, yeah. instead of being able to take electives and, and be able to figure out what we want to do or yeah. even any focus on electives. Right, right. That sucks, bro. I'm jealous. That it was it was cool, That's man. Awesome. Like and like like even to this day, I'm like I wouldn't mind like having like working on wood because it's dude, there's something soothing and crazy about it. Oh like, yeah, yes. I've heard you that. Know, and, like, like you see, it's very gratifying. Yeah, yeah, you for see sure. The work, I the, made the that. Fruits of your yeah, labor. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, and like they didn't help you. They were like you had a you had to pass this like safety test first. If you didn't pass that test, acing it. You weren't allowed on the machines, period. You know, because it was live oh, machine. It was a live oh, machine. Yeah. Like, saw you could cut your finger off. Like, yeah. people have cut their fingers off. Nobody in my class. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, people definitely did, man. The sanding, I, yeah. the mm-hmm. sanding belt. That was so cool. I was lucky enough to take that in uh, my middle school too. So, but I, it wasn't a, ch- uh, it was a choice. Okay. So, and it was only like a uh, term, I think. Okay. Eight yeah. weeks, I think. So yeah, it wasn't a permanent thing. Like that too. Wow. I think it was all year long for us, though. I think. I can't remember like a that. term. So by the time we started getting the hang of it, we got kicked yeah. out. Mm. Here's music. <laughs> yeah, music yeah, yeah. class, you know. <laughs> and uh, we didn't have music classes. Like I think that's an, again, that's another thing too. Uh, they need to be more like, especially now in the digital age where kids are just as good with our fucking tablets and shit as we are. Yeah. And um, I think music, especially stuff like hip hop and. All that stuff should be taught in classes more often. Like, yeah, that, uh, that's a bunch of stuff. But I, I feel think, like hands-on things should be more. Yeah, I think that should be prioritized more now. So today, because of those reasons, like how many kids yes. you see on a tablet all day, on a phone all day. Very how many true. times how, you don't even see kids outside playing like that that yeah. much? You know what I'm saying? Like when we were growing up, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It was like be out till the sun went down, yeah. or your mom had to go find you out there, whoop your ass, get home yeah. at the time. You know what yeah. I mean? Like. Now it's like, hey, Jay, you want to go outside? And my oldest, he's like, no, nah, I'm all right. He don't even look Can at I me. bring I'm my right. VR headset? <laughs> yeah, it's like, God, man, like, look. you know. But, VR. is it to be? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is another thing that's kind of true, cool. man. And I, I feel you. I definitely think we should, man, because a lot of things, 
or like being lost. A lot of people, yeah, yeah, yeah just being lost, lost today. I, I just found out uh, like gardening and all that stuff. Like I want to do that. It's That's being serious. automated though. What? Yeah, what? yeah, like it's already I mean, automated, pretty much. Are you serious? So people are not gonna know how to fucking grow their own food oh, in, no, in no. a We're gonna be 20, 30 years. We're too dependent on, on the it's government. It's gonna be I right? robot. And yeah, technology. Yeah, I mean, like, the, the sad part is, is we shouldn't be afraid of it. And it's just gonna be a lot of cool things that's come from technology. But if we're not fucking prepared for it and not like. Like reevaluating how our values as a society yeah. need to be reevaluated. Yeah, sure. People are just gonna be lost, bro. It's like Jim Carrey said. I, I saw a quote or a meme or a tweet, whatever the fuck it is, mm-hmm. that he said is like, "We live in a world where being a dick gets you everything you want, Ads. and being, uh, well, and being polite or being, um, I guess polite. I, mean, I, I don't remember the exact word he said, but being yeah, being kind." Gets you shit on, basically. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that word for word, but pretty much that was just what he said. Right. Like, being a dick gets you whatever you want, and yeah, being I mean, kind yeah. just doesn't. Like, you know. That pretty much shows true, you yeah. know? I mean, yeah. it's like what I said earlier about, you know, you walking down the street and you give someone, a, like, a smile or something, and they'll look at you like you You're a weirdo. You them off or yeah. something, you know? Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, that's fucking great first episode. Yeah, today. <laughs> yeah. Like, wow. not having really nothing that just everything. Yeah. <laughs> that was just the old kind of no topics and just shit that I, I had on my mind that I kind of saved for this. And, um, it's cool. Good shit, we yo. We deviated yeah. to other major yeah. subjects. Yeah, we kind of went off the deep end, but. Well, that's how it works, bro. Talk. It yeah, was man, fun, man. Sure. That's why I hope we can. Cool. Every time we uh, fucking do this, we can leave learning or, or looking at some shit different. Yeah. Different perspective. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Cause I know I'm stupid, so I want to, I want to, I want to learn, bro. Uh, a truly wise man knows he knows nothing. <laughs> you guys uh, watch MMA? You watch any MMA like that? Oh, uh, I, I, mean, I used well, to. Yeah. I used to watch UFC. A lot. I'm a big MMA head, man. Yeah. That's man. I've been falling off from it, bro. Yeah. Cause I used to be there with you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been falling off. But you got a fire stick. I know. I mean, you know, maybe we shouldn't say this live on the podcast. Yeah, we might get shut 2019, down. 2019, bro. We might get, we might get <laughs> shut down for yeah, yeah, we might get shut down for promoting piracy <laughs> over here. Huh? <laughs> piracy? <laughs> sure, I'm a pirate. What do you mean, like Somalia? Somalia? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with y'all, bro. Y'all, y'all too cool already, bro. This is the freaking <laughs> first day y'all met, y'all finishing each other's sentences. Y'all too cool, Dude. bro. Oh my so god! Funny, man. <laughs> oh my. Yo, I had this conspiracy theory today, bro. And this is random as fuck. But I was like, so on that, free, I meant to bring it up when I my free school shit. That's a ten thousandth time. <laughs> I got the just iPhone cracked edition, bro. Just, just stay there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the X stands for. <laughs> but I was like, yo, because Bernie Sanders was saying he's gonna pay for free school. By taxing Wall Street, right? J Lo has a movie coming out about stealing from Wall Street, bro. Oh, ding, ding. Pushing the agenda. Oh, Am I reaching? Dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> Am I reaching? Hell no. I think you're already working with him. <laughs> Is that J Lo? Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> she got an old white man using a beautiful. She's kind of old now too, but she don't look yeah. young looking yeah. Spanish woman to push his agenda. With the fatty. I'm just saying, bro. Maybe I'm ahead of my time. I've heard weirder things, right? Maybe I'm ahead of my time. So it's Area 51, though, before we oh, this thing. Dude, uh, we could talk for another hour. About are, you, are we going? <laughs> the Area 51. They can't stop us up. <laughs> If, yo, I don't care. to get microwaved. Literally, <laughs> yeah, dude. Right. Literally microwaved. The memes have been so fucking great. They are. That's I don't the best care thing what. that comes yeah, from that. Like, yeah. like, to the future, I mourn whatever happens. Yo, but I don't I'll even, enjoy the memes along the way. Yo, the memes are great. They're going to make up for whatever bad happens yeah. after fucking <laughs> September. My One of my yo. favorite ones I showed him was, um, it had, um... All the Saiyans, like Goku's dad, Bardock, and all yeah, the Saiyans. Yeah. Yeah. And he was like, they can't stop us all. He can't stop us all. It's famous <laughs> last <laughs> words. <laughs> oh, famous shit. last words. Oh, this is bro. like, yo, this is the best one. Like that, man. <laughs> no, famous last words, bro. 
I'm about to throw this shit on the mix too, bro. Literally, that's yeah, like, show it to the camera. That's basically what it is. Bro, I I know how to edit now, so I'm I'm gonna be able to pull it up. Oh, I'm okay, yeah, up. there you go. Yeah. Okay, yeah, thanks. And then the biodegradable bullets. Yo, <laughs> oh my God, the field of flowers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah that was so great. That oh was so my great. God, no, those I, are probably two of my favorite ones. I like all the celebrities hopping on this. I don't know that shit's real, but I think yeah, I, I think people are just. Too, but that's so I cool. think they're just. Mm-hmm. They're just like like it's all the people, on the bandwagon. It's been over like a million people now. I heard that. Yeah, um, so really, that are marking that they're gonna go. That, but, yeah. but over I a million and like I don't believe. But I mean, what if like one percent of those motherfuckers did go? Yeah, that's how many thousand. thousand. Exactly. I think. <laughs> it sounded right. We I gotta go back to school. Yeah. I wasn't gonna question it. Like math is my strong suit. These niggas need to break all ins, bro. <laughs> they change the answer. <laughs> Healthcare? Nah, I need to go to school, bro. Shit. That's oh, funny, man. man. But, uh, or, or the one was like, I just bought Bay a new. The new whip, and it was a ghost from Halo. <laughs> yes, <laughs> bro, that one was fucking lit. That was snap, man. Yo, there's so many funny ones, man. Oh my god. Where, the, where do you think it's coming from? Are you think it's coming CIA. from a joke? It's no, like the whole because the the people who started it are a bunch of people who just jo- like post memes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so really they're just shit like, posting. Y'all don't yeah, have anything to do with like the Joe Rog- Rogan podcast when he had Homeboy. I mean, that yeah, probably yeah. that probably is like what initiated it. You know what I mean? That's probably why it probably that's yeah, where yeah, part probably comes from. Mm-hmm. But um, but I don't think there's I don't think there's any. Like, just, yeah, I think they just I think they just threw it out there, and I bet you they're fucking shocked. Like we got a million fucking people. Yeah, dude. I said they're down. You know what I mean? Because if you read the description, the description, it says something like, we're going to meet up at this spot. Everybody gets together. We're going to ride over there. We're going to run like Naruto. <laughs> yeah. We're going to run faster than bullets. <laughs> faster than the speed of bullets. And I was just like, oh, right, so this is obviously a joke. Like, I've but never watched Naruto. Bro, this is real life. <laughs> How much traffic that got, man. And Facebook's been around for a long time. I don't yeah. think any kind of group has had that many mm-hmm. fucking... I didn't even know Facebook could have a million people on one group. Bro, like... Actually, let me look it up. I have it. I be going back in there every now and then. Just I haven't even looked at the group. time. The CIA did this as population I, I don't control. Even, <laughs> I don't even want to like. I don't want to even join it. Two point eight million. Two point eight million. That's so wild. Two point eight million. Two point eight million about to get nuked. Bro, that's going. That's what they're. One point five million saying they're going. One point two interested. One hundred eighty eight thousand shares. That's weird. I don't even want to be like going interested or anything like that. I was like, oh, I'm with that shit. Because I was like, we're going to be flying. I'm going to try and fly out of Japan. And they're going to be like, sir, you're in the no fly zone. <laughs> like, you're on the Area 51 list. It's like a thousand pages. <laughs> yeah. There's 2.8 million. <laughs> Wait a minute, fucks. aren't you? <laughs> I just, I just, un- I just unclicked it. <laughs> refresh it, refresh it. Bro. It's wild, bro. They got a picture right next to your name too, bro. Just, yeah, exactly. It's like, what did you say about Donald Trump? <laughs> they pull up all the history, bro. Oh my god, you're like Captain Griffin, bro. Uh, what did you yeah. say about the world emperor? Yeah. What did you say about Barack? Like, I, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Huh? Not the same thing. I'll be like, huh? <laughs> Who? Who is that? Talking, <laughs> talking about Mortal Kombat characters? Rock on Oh, shit. That's uh, lit. That's crazy. I'm dude. done with y'all today, man. <laughs> y'all too much. We talked about some fucking wild shit. Man. Yeah. It's all over the place. Yeah. In a good way, though. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, over the way. Good way. <laughs> three dudes talking about getting it all up everywhere, bro. Oh, man. Y'all nasty, what bro. Time I don't is talk it? Like that. What time is it? Time so you do an outro? Not a, I don't do, do an outro because I'm not that official yet. And we out. And we out of it. Uh, yeah. Follow my shit. <laughs> <laughs>